1977, a small town in the American state of West Virginia called Vulcan had a rather serious problem. The town's only access to the rest of the state and country was a narrow swinging bridge across the Tug Fork, which had fallen into disrepair over the last decade. In the 70s and onwards, it had begun to deteriorate until it eventually collapsed due to wood rot, becoming unusable. Vulcan had unsuccessfully lobbied both to the state and federal government to replace it. Then, in probably one of the strangest incidents of the Cold War, Vulcan, upset due to the lack of action, then chose to write to the Soviet Embassy in Washington DC, asking for foreign aid. What is even more bizarre is the Soviet Union actually sent somebody to survey the problem and was told to promise the residents of Vulcan that the Soviet Union would step in and fund the construction of a new bridge if the American government did not. Once multiple news outlets reported on this, there was a huge uproar across the country, some going as far to threaten to bomb any bridge the Soviets might help fund. And within just an hour of the Soviets' visit to Vulcan, reporters of those same news outlets were told that the state would step in and replace the bridge. The West Virginia legislature would provide $1.3 million in funding to replace the bridge, which would then open in 1980.